Mary Gay, my partner and um, co-chair. Uh, we're very, very excited uh, to be embarking upon this this year. It's an issue that her and I care deeply about, um, and it's great to be with everybody. And, um, you know, it, it, this has always been a need, but it's certainly a need during this um, unprecedented time of, of economic hardship, individuals, families, uh, veterans, uh, including veterans in need, um, especially deserve their, their equal to justice under the law. Um, and as Mary Gay has talked about a lot, um, and as she knows from her past experience, uh, civil legal aid is critical to ensuring uh, that federal policy response is aimed um, at pandemic relief, uh, particularly for low-income Americans uh, are carried through. And while millions of Americans have been impacted by, by COVID-19, uh, those struggling with economic uncertainty to begin with have suffered the greatest harm, for sure. And reports of housing evictions across the country uh, have surged. Um, and the OSC has estimated uh, in August that more than 5 million households who qualify for LSC funded services are at risk of eviction. Uh, that's over 5 million. That's an astounding and devastating number. Uh, the LSC has been uh, a steadfast defender um, of the tidal wave of citizens facing eviction uh, via economic hardship in all of our communities. And I especially want to thank them uh, for helping to protect the citizens in my district in Bucks and Montgomery counties. Uh, Legal Aid uh, works in support of the federal response to COVID-19 so that uh, the intended beneficiaries of federal relief are both aware of and can access uh, the appropriated financial, uh, housing, employment, uh, and health resources that Congre Congress intended. Uh, for instance, federal unemployment benefit supplements have greatly mitigated, uh, and I've heard the same story as I'm sure Mary Gay has, mitigated the effects uh, of the economic crisis. Uh, however, many people have been excluded because they were not able to access legal help. Uh, the same is true of other benefit streams that could cushion COVID's uh, impacts, such as stimulus checks, Social Security, uh, or veterans' benefits. Uh, legal aid also helps reduce the burden on our judicial and administrative law courts um, by focusing and streamlining the issues presented uh, before those courts. Our federal and state court systems have struggled uh, with closures, uh, backlogs, uh, and supplemental costs throughout the pandemic. And effective legal aid programs can help the courts process cases more efficiently while protecting the due process rights of clients uh, and people that need it. Um, so as you will learn more about today uh, during the briefing, supporting legal aid and legal services corporation during and in the aftermath of this pandemic is critical uh, in eventually getting our country back to normal. So. Thank you all for inviting me. I look forward to working with you throughout this congressional cycle. Um, you picked a really good uh, co-chair in Mary Gay. Uh, I have uh, personal respect for her. I consider her a friend, a colleague, a mentor, and um, we look forward to helping out in whatever way we can in a very bipartisan manner.